Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Some performance, and now here comes the response. high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. the whistle Jim who do you pick out as the telling individual today yeah Toby Alderweireld he's rock solid at the back Peter with all the physical and technical attributes you'd look for in the center half what's more he can really pick out a pass too he loves a diagonal so opposition defenses just can't swish off yeah the scourge of so many strikers going through Tolkien has out. Alderweireld. Tielemans. Vertonghen. Tielemans. Carrasco. Emerson with a good steal, well played. And here's Immobile. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Talking as It's been a rather gentle affair so far. And it's Mertens. Mertens plays it out to the flank. Lorenzo Insigne. Baratti puts his foot on the gas. Oh, real danger here! Gets Insignia with a shot! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, he cut straight through the middle, only to find he had no cutting edge. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Tielemans, good challenge, he just stood firm. Carrasco. Now it's Lukaku. He's got away. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And he's going to have his game taken. And the players are flocking round their fallen colleague and they look worried. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that one to, is he? Turn! 
Evans! Oh, smart save. He had plenty to do. Absolutely terrific. Terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. He's looked long this time. Hits one! Goal, Italy! What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Italy take the lead, 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. For Tongan. And it's played forward. And the through ball is intercepted. Out to the right. Herrera Carrasco. Talking as up. It's Carrasco. Carrasco gets it out to the wing. Carrasco needed to come up with a better ball. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Forward it goes. He gets past his man. Cut out in the nick of time. Done very well to intervene. And here's Immobile. Played out to the right. Chiesa. Chiesa looking to penetrate opposition lines. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. It's a promising ball. Benucci. Emerson. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Aserbi. Benucci. Marco Verratti. Locatelli. Chiesa. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. He's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. Was a decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Italy, happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Italy carrying a one-goal lead. Chiesa. Back in once more. Tielemans attempts going for goal! A real chance and a real let-off. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Tielemans plays it forward. Bonucci does well there, alert. 
He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Lorenzo Insignia. Emerson. And it's Insignia. Berati set up one goal so far. Locatelli! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. <laughs> Meunier with the clearance. Turns and goes back. Uh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Ferretti. Insigne provides an outlet. They've managed to get it away. Chiesa. Now surely. Back. Chiesa tries to get it clear. Fires from distance. Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage. Tielemans. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? And it's got through. And it's gone out of play. Belgium are making a change now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Can he deliver? Torgan Azar. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Hoists it forward. Back to the keeper and go again. Keeper's got good distance on that. For Tongan, tries to get it forward quickly. Hazard unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. And here's Lukaku, looks to thread it through. Belgium are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Referee rightly gives him offside. But the changes then in quick succession. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. And it's Immobile. Over to the left, Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Italy are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. The Donka tries to switch the play. And here's Azar. Now it's Lukaku. Referee has just said play on. Belgium are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Dendonka. Dendonka clips one through. Witzel. Belgium have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. In towards the middle. 
I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And there goes the final whistle. Italy, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say. And a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.